Hey everyone, I've done a lot of mods to the lathe in the past, but this one has been in the works for a very long time and I'm very keen to get around to doing it. My plan is to completely rebuild the entire cross slide. The stock one is great, but it really limits you in terms of what you can mount to the lathe, such as vertical slides or indexes. I'll be machining a new slide from a piece of cold rolled steel. It's substantially thicker with a lot more mass, so it should help increase the rigidity of the lathe. The first thing we need to do is take a light facing cut on each of the faces. I'll be using my new carbide fly cutter. With the part faced and it now dialed in, I started the process of machining some T-slots in the new slide. T-slots will be integral in allowing me to attach tools to the lathe. I find it really disappointing that they aren't very common on a lot of modern lathes. They are invaluable when used on a mill table and have been very handy when used on the Sherliner. The T-slot underhang features were cut using this high speed steel cutter. There's a lot of material to remove in one pass, so the best course of action is to take it slowly, avoid chatter and use a decent amount of coolant.
With the slot cut, we can now make another one. With the T-slots cut, we can flip the part, dial it in so it's parallel to the table, and then start to cut the dovetail. The dovetails turned out great, so we can now make the adjustment holes for the gibs. It was all going really well until I accidentally broke the tap. Now without any carbide drills small enough to drill it out, I elected to simply weld up the hole and make a new one. Next we can make the holes for the cross slide nut.
We can now make the gib adjustment bolts. They're typically machined down at one end, so I'll quickly do that in the lathe. I'll be using hex bolts as a short term solution until I can get my hands on some extra long M4 grub screws. And with that done, we can have a look at how it fits on the lathe. And so far, it fits pretty well. It has a really nice smooth action, and I'm pretty happy with it. I wouldn't mind doing some scraping to the bottom of the slides in the future, but at the moment, that's not much of an option for me. With the cross slide done, we need to produce some T-nuts to go into the T-slots. I'll produce it from this mild steel that I had from a previous project. Since these are T-nuts, you don't want the thread to extend all the way to the bottom, or the thread you screw in might screw into the bottom of the T-slot and cause some damage. So either stop tapping before the thread is fully formed, or get a punch and ruin the bottom threads. Finally, to give the nuts some resistance to corrosion, I'll heat them up and drop them in some linseed oil.
Finally, we need a platform for the toolpost stud to mount on, which in turn can be bolted to the new cross slider. Now I didn't have any steel big enough for the job, so as a temporary solution, I'll be making it from some aluminium. It's not a perfect solution, but with a decent volume of aluminium, and it having a decent tensile strength, it should be okay for use for the moment. So it's finally time to assemble. The T-nuts were inserted and the aluminium platform was bolted down, followed by the new tool post. And I've got to say, I'm really impressed with how it turned out. One big advantage here is we can now place the tool post anywhere on the cross slider. If we put it as far back as possible, the tool post is now 20mm further back than it would be if we were using the standard cross slide. This allows us to cut a part that's 40mm wider in diameter than we could beforehand. Cutting wise, I'm really happy with the improvements. It's clear that the larger and heavier cross slide provides a big increase in rigidity to the leg which means we can cut much deeper into parts and we get a much improved surface finish. And that's it for now. I have a lot more planned for the lathe and a lot more planned for this upgrade, but that is going to have to wait for next time. Hope to see you next time, and as always, thank you very much for watching.